this is a new era in America, and I think it goes against the ilk of who we are as Americans and our faith in the criminal justice system. In the end, this juror, jury of ordinary people from Delaware were not intimidated by that family. And they recognized that this was a clear cut case and that clearly no one's above the law. I guess we all need what to shop at Banana Republic from now on because that's what it feels like. Yeah, a Banana Republic. For years, the Bidens have been able to escape any legal accountability for their sleazy, corrupt conduct. But today, their luck ran out, at least hunters did. Power is all they love, and they're willing to do anything to cling to it. They're willing to destroy the rule of law. The Republic has been wounded by weak lawyers and talentless political bloodhounds. It gave me a little boost of confidence in the American legal system, although they still have a lot of work to do to win me back. Oh, I'm sure their fingers are crossed. Can we get Jesse Waters back on our side? But that was an amazing mashup of the obvious and predictable hypocrisy from the right when it came to their reaction to Donald Trump being found guilty for 34 counts in his trial in New York. And then this week, Hunter Biden being found guilty for three in his. Everything that they said about Hunter Biden, like like you could just transpose it. They're so Utterly hypocritical, and I know that this is not news to anyone. And I know that for many of you, it probably seems like a waste of time to even acknowledge it. But I just want you to bear in mind, it's not like we're mashing up two years ago or 20 years ago. The the New York verdict was like a month ago, if that. And in the span of just that one month, it's immediately back, back and forth. It's justified, it's not. It's enough, it's too much. Like. It's just wild to me how an audience can sit there and absorb from the exact same people the exact opposite take and they accept it because it's filtered through their wild partisanship. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. Sharon, what do you make of that little mashup? Uh, I think that you probably didn't even listen, the producers, everybody behind the scenes works very hard here. But they probably didn't have to work too hard to put that together, okay? Because it's all over 24 seven, particularly since the verdict. I think we have to resist the temptation to say, oh, here we go again, it's what's expected. I think you're exactly right that we have to put it front and center every time they do this. Otherwise, it actually will be normalized. And it's mm-hmm. just not, it's, it's cuckoo, it's bizarre. And they do it so well that they don't even hesitate. They're not embarrassed. They must know. I mean, come on, the Fox, we already got their texts from before. They know what they're doing. They know it sounds crazy. And I think it's almost like they're trolling us. They're trolling us, Jesse, really? There's certainly an element of that, and I doubt their base would mind if that's what it was. Um, But but also, there, there is more here than just the hypocrisy, to be clear. You should not react like consistency with what they had previously said wouldn't even be enough in this case to yeah. make sense because they still want to pitch everything and we'll get into all the conspiracy theories as all being directed by Joe Biden despite the fact that his son was found guilty in federal court where hypothetically if Biden was a dictator and wanted to get involved he could have but obviously didn't and isn't going to pardon him whereas Donald Trump definitely would in that case Donald Trump was found guilty in state court where Joe Biden really doesn't have anything to do with it and they of course are not going to mention that they had been demonizing in the Hunter Biden case the jury Jesse Waters was saying that because there were going to be so many black jurors there was no way he would be found guilty could we have a little bit of an update from that And I'm not asking of Fox News anything more than what we have ourselves delivered. I had said that I thought it was not super unlikely, but unlikely that Donald Trump would be found guilty. And I gave you my reasoning. Now, obviously, I was wrong. So we did some self analysis on the show and we we worked through it and all that. Again, like, Every, like whatever was said before is just set on fire the second it was said. And they don't feel bound by any of it. All of their predictions that obviously Hunter Biden would get off. They said those things then to pitch Joe Biden as being a tyrant. Now Hunter didn't get off, but he still has to be a tyrant. So forget all that stuff that we said, that, that wasn't true at all. Now we come up with another conspiracy. It's like the, the goal posts are moving, being driven by conspiracism every step of the way. Any other thoughts before we move on to some of the other things that are being said? 
Yeah, Joe Biden's now to blame for Hunter being convicted because it would be too obvious if Hunter was not convicted as if they've got their finger on the scale. It's preposterous, but there's no fact checking there. There's just let's run with it, run with it, run with it. We don't need quality control over at Fox, we'll say what we want. And maybe you're right, their audience would rather forget conveniently about what they said just yesterday or the day before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. And it is it's it's convenience and it's comfort. Again, like like when when we admit where we were wrong or we acknowledge like both sides of a thing, we do it because we feel that that's like our ethical obligation. And we do it knowing that our audience are adults and they can take the fact that not everything is designed to be in, in like the most palatable thing ever for them. But that is a rarity in news and that's not how these major networks work. It's certainly not how Fox News works. They have taken their audience and they've metaphorically swaddled them and they just run their hands through their hair and tell them that they're the cutest child ever. And that is what the news cycle is for them. There cannot be a challenge to their preconceptions because if there is, Fox already knows that they'll leave them for Newsmax or OAN or Rumble or whatever other thing they've got coming down the pike. They know that and so they proceed from a perspective of fear. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?